from the streets of Mariupol, the sounds of fierce fighting, and also a voice of defiance. A Ukrainian fighter appeals directly to the presidents of the US and France for air defense systems. You have promised there'll be help. Give us that help. Save the civilian population. Children, elderly people are dying. He finishes by comparing their plight to the Syrian city of Aleppo. With much of Mariupol lying in ruins and completely surrounded by superior forces, Ukraine says there is little it can do militarily. No army in the world will be able to cross it, not even the US Army, with the size of the forces we have now, unfortunately. Using one of a number of humanitarian corridors operating in the country, an exodus of people has continued, telling the same harrowing tale. There is no Mariupol. We sat in the cellar for 10 days and didn't leave once. At this destroyed army base in the southern city of Mykolaiv, another search for survivors there. There's been a new appeal from Ukraine's president to end the war through dialogue. I want everyone to hear me, especially in Moscow. The time has come to meet, to talk. And as this war grinds on, there's been the competing claims of progress by both sides. The Ukrainians say they've been mounting counterattacks and have stopped Russian forces surrounding the capital, Kyiv. For its part, Russia says it has used a new type of missile with an attack on an installation in the west of the country. Hypersonic ballistic missiles destroyed a big underground missile arsenal along with aerial munitions of the Ukrainian forces. The Ukrainians say overstretched Russian forces are bogged down in much of the country and have resorted to using badly trained recruits in the fight. The Russians have released combat footage showing that, on the contrary, it's the Ukrainians who are on the receiving end. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Lviv.